Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about the Weibull distribution and how you can compute the mean and variance of it. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapar Institute, India. So, what is the Weibull distribution? Is there any of the continuous random variable x? It's said to be a Weibull distribution with the two parameters, namely as alpha and beta, if its PDF is defined like this way. Where beta is nothing but the shape parameters and alpha is called as the scale parameter. So, what is the meaning of the shape and scale? As it quite obvious that that this parameter will influence on the shape of this distribution, while this alpha will define on the scale. How it can be? We can see in the graphically. Here, the value of the alpha and beta both are the positive. So, if you set al beta that is a less than of the one, so that means the the hazard rates or you can say the distributions are decreases that is called as the earlier failure whenever you can say the beta is 1 we will call as the constant or constant rate and whenever beta is greater than 1 it's a increasing phase are there or we will call as the wear out life process are there also you can see the impact of the shape because uh, see that the beta represents the shape parameter so as the shape increases like this the 0.51 then 2.5 then 5 as it define on the shape of the distribution on the other hand the scale parameter will define like this way you can see whenever you take the value of the alpha as here you can see the more the more the scale parameter more the spread will be there you can see about that you can see the 0.4 has a spread of like this way this is the spread of the 0.4 this is the spread of the 0.2 which is the spread of the point 0.2 is less than of the point 0.4. Similarly, for the point 0.8, it will goes like this way. You can see the spread is more. Similarly, for the 1.2, it is spread is more. So, more the value of the scale parameter, more the spread will be here. This is the variation of the parameters alpha and beta over this here. Also, we analyze that whenever you have, whenever you substitute here as a beta is 1, then the Weibull distribution becomes the exponential distribution. How? You can see when you substitute beta is 1, so it will be 1 by alpha. This is my 0, e raised to power minus x by alpha. What is that? This is nothing but my Weibull, this is my exponential distribution when beta is 1. The same for here. This is that whenever beta is 1, it will vary as a constant rate. So whenever there is as a constant rate, we will call as the exponential part is there. On the other hand, whenever you take beta as of the 2 and this alpha as of root 2 alpha, root 2 sigma, this sigma is the standard deviation or the parameter you can substitute here, you will get this PDF which is nothing but the Rayleigh distribution. So this Weibull distribution is the generalization of the exponential as well as Rayleigh distribution. Now once you are feature about this Weibull distribution, now we can see how we can compute the mean and variance. That's very simple since the PDF is given to be here and our target is to find the EX and EX square here. So how you can do that? We can start with the general parameter EX raised to power R. Whenever R is 1, it's a mean. Whenever R is 2, we can compute EX square. So this is the definition of this. Since X varies from the 0 to infinity, we can substitute the value of the F of X from here. We can get this. Since the integration is with respect to X, so this part is my constant. This alpha raised to power beta minus 1 is also constant. So I can write this as alpha of alpha raised to power beta minus 1. This part is constant. So this is nothing but alpha raised to power beta. What is that? When, what comes in your mind whenever there is an integration of some polynomial, e raised to power something are there that you have to work on the gamma distribution. So what is the gamma distribution is? Here is x raised to power this and here this is nothing but my gamma distribution. So I need here is a x. So what I can do is I can consider this parameter as of y. Can you find the value of the x from here? Then can you find the value of the dx from this? You can easily find the value of x and dx here. What is the value of the y when 0? So when x is 0, what is the value of y? It's a 0. When x is infinity, y is also be the infinity. So you can substitute the value of the x here. You can substitute the value at here and you can substitute the value at here. You will get this. Now the integration is with respect to y. So this alpha raised to power this is a constant which is outside. This alpha upon beta is a constant which is outside. You will get this expression. 
now here this is the y this is why you can add their powers you can get this one so what is that you know what is the expression of this yes this is the gamma distribution that is e raised to power minus x x raised to power minus x of this is if it is n then it is n minus 1 so if it is r by beta you can see this is my here so therefore what you can do if, if you take r is 1 and r is 2 in this expression you will get the value of ex and ex square that is nothing but my mean from this mean and from this e of x square you can substitute the value you can get the variance as of here so for the different value of the alpha and beta you can get the different uh, 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 different variations of their parameters so this is the mean this is my mean and this is my variance of this variable distribution so I hope you can simply uh, learn these techniques are there. We will see some more lectures on the distribution function in the next class. Till then you can simply find this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.